Hey y'all, it's your girl Toy Sharika, and I'm back with another video. And today was pretty good for me. I don't have no complaints or nothing like that too much. I talked to everybody I want to talk to today. My big cuz, my homegirl V. And um, just had a good time, good conversations. You know, I love to talk with them because I get so inspired when I talk to them. And then I got a new friend, um, Fatili. I like her. She's pretty cool. And she discovered that she knew me from back in um, back in the days from hanging with another classmate. So I'm like, wow. But I just can't pinpoint her. I really can't. But um, I'll, I'll figure it out pretty soon. But she's a sweet lady, you know, and she's been helping me. Giving me directions with my videos, so I really appreciate that. You know, she's been giving me some pointers, so y'all been seeing some different things happening in my videos, and that's a plus because I'm in it for the long haul. I love this YouTube stuff, it's it's off the chain. I love it. You know, I wake up every morning inspired to just do create videos, do something, so it's a good thing. I don't want to do nothing. I don't, I'm not going to do nothing too outlandish, but right now, pretty much, my whole life is an open book, and that's by my choice. So, but I feel great. You know, I ain't really didn't have too much problem with my knees today hurting, but my feet swole up though tonight. They really are. They're a little swole. I think I need to lay off or something. But I ain't really eating no salt. Mm -mm. But I, I will show y'all my feet, but... They're a little ash. I don't want to show y'all you ugly feet. <laughs> mm -mm. So, um, I just found out some more crazy news today. And, you know, normally the school would notify you when, um, you know, there is no school or something like that. Man, my son got in the car today and told me, I said, Mama, I can't wait for my four-day weekend. I said, what the heck you talking about? Four-day weekend? Yeah, well, I got a four-day weekend. I said, where are they coming up? I had to think. So, what is Friday? What's Friday's holiday? I don't know. So, I said, you know what? This is not cool. This is not right. I don't believe you. I don't believe you got four-day weekend. So, I proceeded to go and call the school myself and ask the lady, do they have a four-day weekend? This lady told me something, yeah. I said, I'll be damned. Y'all done messed up my whole week. You know, I like my Fridays before the weekend start. So now I got to go ahead and try to um go do something real quick so I can be prepared for them, mentally prepared, prepared for them when they be home um, for these four days. I'm like, wow. So Monday is a um, President's Day, so pretty much everything will be shut down, like the banks and stuff. So, But I don't even know what Friday is, or they just give it to them just because. But, you know, they could at least inform the parents so we can all have our stuff together, you know? And do what we're going to do before they get the kids get home from school. You know, I'm a planner. I like to plan stuff around my kids, especially when they be in school. So I can be able to have more free time for myself. And do some of the things that I like, you know, which it ain't, it ain't really much. But it's something I like to do. I like to listen to music. I like to read. You know, take rides. You know, and go to the park and look at the um people doing whatever they're doing. You know, watching animals and watching squirrels and cats, which I can't stand. But <clears throat> they sure did me in this week. They sure did me in. I was going, you know, Friday night, we just uh chill out. But, no, we ain't we doing none of that. Because Friday, if it's not hot, if it's not cold, we're going to be outside in the backyard doing no leaves. Because my backyard is so big and it's full of brown leaves. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And then my carport is full of brown leaves. I'm like, and every time you walk in the house from the carport, the leaves tracking, which I cannot stand it. I'm constantly, constantly sweeping brown leaves. Because when they come in, they don't shake their damn feet. Or, you know, wipe their feet off, or whatever the case may be. So I have to get on them about that, and then I still end up sweeping it up myself. And stay mopping. Well, tonight we didn't, uh, I didn't cook nothing tonight. We was going to eat breakfast, some grits, eggs, and bacon, and some biscuits. But everybody talking about some, um, they want tacos. The boys said they want tacos, so that's what we had. But tomorrow, definitely, we're going to have something going on tomorrow. 
I got some ribeye steaks. I might cook some of them tomorrow with some um stuffed mushrooms. I love stuffed mushrooms. They good. They really good. So that's what we might be eating tomorrow night. Put them on. So tomorrow while they in school, I think I'm gonna go to the um the juice uh what is it? it's a place called juice um well, anyway they smell smoothies and all that stuff and fruit bowl granola bowl so I think I'm gonna spend some time over there and you know, check out the sceneries over there I'll bring y'all along with me of course um I talked to my um children's father today. And, and surprisingly, it wasn't intense. It wasn't intense. He talked well. He had some sense. You know, he even slipped up and called me, <laughs> called me baby. And look at me being messy. You know, but I just like, you know, I just heard, you know, told him what I needed, what I wanted. And, um, you know, he said he was going to make it happen. And then I just um, politely heard him got the phone because I don't want to give him the idea that I'm trying to um do anything outside these children with him. You know, I think we already established that right now because he, so it's not going to, um, I'm not going to do none of those things to lead nobody on. I don't want to do that. But in the meantime, I've been having conversations with different people from around the world. You know, they're very respectful people, you know, because usually when they be in them DMs, they ready to do some other things. Like you seen off the um private part pics and all that. I don't like that kind of stuff. And one just did that a couple of days ago. I say, oh wow. Block. Block, 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 block a block. Mm -mm. I don't want none of that. But also in this video right here, even though I just got off the top of it real quick with that one. In this video right here, I got some snapshots of some different places around town in Columbus. Because I know when I did that duck one over again, I didn't probably get enough uh, uh, stuff for y'all to see outside of the cemetery, which is my favorite spot. I'm sorry. I'm weird like that. I'm really weird like that. I like stuff like that. I don't go there necessarily for the dead. I just go there for the pond. The pond and the ducks. Mm -hmm. They got another place where you can look at the ducks and feed them, but that's so far way out. I don't even want to go way over that way, you know? It's, it's really far out, so I don't want to drive that far for the ducks. Mm -mm. I'm sleepy. I'm about ready to go to bed. I'm going to take my medication. And um, we all for to go to bed probably because I had got up late this morning. I was I don't like getting up late because it seems like everything go wrong. Ugh. Like It seems like your day go by. When you wake up late, it seems like your day goes by faster than what it should be. And you be off track a lot, you know, you be off track a little bit, you know, and I just, um, when I do that, when I be waking up late and that, it's not intentionally, sometimes the medicine I take, it, it'll do that to me sometimes. It'll do it, do me like that. But when I wake up late and I know I got to be somewhere or go somewhere, it just throws me off. It throws me off and then I get to procrastinating even more. So, you know, today I didn't get much done, but at least I'm honest about it, the whole thing. Today I'm drinking, even though it's in the Taco Bell cup, today I'm drinking VA Splash. I like this pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not too sweet and all that good stuff, but I'm not getting a sponsorship. I'm just telling you what I'm drinking. No, I'm not drinking no soda, and I painted my nails again today, but I got this VA, flash, VA Splash, and I ordered this stuff from Amazon. Yeah, baby. Yes, baby. I've been doing a lot of ordering from Amazon. Um, last last month I did a lot of ordering, and then I did a lot of ordering from Bath and Be Bath and um, Body Works. And it's some stuff I want to see now. They got they got a, they having a little sale now with candles, but I don't think it's um you, you buy two and get two, and it's some candles I want, but I need to bring on the ones I got first. But my thing is I'm interested in this dang peach. Peach marshmallow. I gotta get me some more of that lotion. Jesus. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love this lotion from Bath and Body Works. I do. I like the Pure Wonder, the Champagne Toast, uh, Winterberry. Mm. 
Let me see. Pure one under Chantel Toes. Oh, it's another one. There's another one. Ah, oh, I hate when I do that. Mm. I can't remember what it was. And then I also got some Victoria's Secrets too. So I got a mixture of all that, but I got more uh Bath and Body Works thanks to my good friend V. She always hooking me up with a coupon or something. You know, we 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 uh <laughs> we be messing up. We we be buying all that there by Bath and Body Works, but we end up doing that. I know around Cripple Tide, we were tearing them up. Oh, my God. Because they had them good sales then. We were loading up on the asses. I even got my son some stuff. But they so, ugh. Mom, we don't want to wear that. You will smell good. It smell good. Ain't nothing like a smell. Uh, there's nothing like a smell, good smelling man. Oh, my God. I love it. I miss it now, honey. Shoot. I'm going to be real and honest with you. I miss the smell of a man up around here. A real good man. I miss it. I miss the set of a man. I do. I do. I do. I miss the deodorant smell. I used to miss the just, just a clean shaving smell. I just miss it. I miss it a lot, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'll get there one day. I'll have my own man again one day. Hopefully he'll be just for me. Just for me and no and not nobody else. <clears throat> then I'm listening to the blues, but y'all can't hear it because I don't want to get a copyright. <laughs> you know, I ain't got time for them games either. And so I'm listening to Miss Jackie Neal. He don't love me. But it is what it is. I like I like what I like. You know, I love music. I, I love all sorts of music. Like today I was in the car driving. And then the Isley Brothers came on with the Caravan of Love. Oh man, I just had that. I had that radio. I had my radio blasted, honey. And I was just singing that song. I bet the people riding by past me, like, "What's wrong with this girl right here? What's going on with her?" I was singing, honey. I was feeling that. I was singing that song. I love that song. And so, that kind of made my day too. Then I had some laughs. You know, I had some laughs. I would do my memes. I watched me some memes on TikTok and Facebook. That's crazy. Mr. Um, well, um, Randy, he must be um recuperating. Randy uh, uh, Allen, he must be recuperating still from Valentine's Day. Because he ain't been putting no funny stuff out here lately. So, I ain't getting no laughs with him today. I got laughs elsewhere. Elsewhere. I got to last with my friend V, you know. But um, have um, have any y'all people over there in YouTube world? Have y'all ever heard of a thing called a rose? Well, from my understanding, they they, they say they keep it in back order. From my understanding, and then the, those people that I know that have it say it's off the damn chain. It's off the chain. They making them tap out. I'm like, what? I gotta get me some of that. <laughs> I gotta get me one of them then. But she says it's bag order because they can't keep it in stock because them deep women right here buying it up. Mm. But if you go to the sex shop, the sex shop, I think you're going to pay a little bit more for it. But the way they said thing go, it probably is well worth it. It's well worth it. Well worth it. You know, back in the day when I used to go to the mall, when I used to go to the mall, I went to the sex shops in the mall. Only thing I went to was a damn emotion lotion. <laughs> Y'all remember the emotion lotion? <laughs> the lotion that get hot. The motion that get hot. They got some lotion that get hot. And then that motion, that motion lotion was getting hot. You put it on your and stuff. And you get it hot. It'll warm up on you and shit like that. But that's what I was buying. Motion lotion. And then at the time, I wouldn't even buy it for no particular person. I just was buying it to have it. Stock up in my damn um, boudoir. <laughs> Just sit on my dress a little neat. Look pretty. So that was interesting right there, you know. I don't know if they sell motion lotion now, but <laughs> that was something else. Something else back in the day. Everybody was going crazy about that. That and them damn edible draws. <laughs> I hope y'all kids ain't watching this. I really hope they ain't watching it. Because sometimes I just don't even know what I'm going to talk about. I just get on here and just say what's on my mind. You know, I've been told, you need to write it down. I don't want to be like that because I don't want to sound like I'm scripted. 
I just want to say what's on my mind and be authentic with it, you know? And I'm more believable this way than versus me trying to uh, write down stuff and memorize it because my memory ain't that damn good. It's not. It's not. It's not that good at all. But um, today was great. I talked to my neighbor next door, um, Mr. Armstrong. I talked to him a little bit for a minute. You know, he's a good, he's a, he's a good dude. He's an older man. He's been through a lot. You know, he's up and raising his grandkids. So anytime I have anything extra or whatever, I try to give it to them. You know, because it's a lot over there. It's, it's three of us. And it's a lot of them over there. You know, even with some of the clothes I had, I had a lot of clothes I got rid of. Because um, I just didn't like it no more. And a lot of them still had tags on it. And see, I was going to take it to the uh, clothing mentor. But they be jipping on your stuff, man. They be jipping on your stuff. I remember mean, last time I took some stuff to the clothing mentor. This lady told me some $6. I said, are you serious? $6? I said, y'all have it. Just have it. Go on and have it. Go on ahead and have it. and just Because um, I don't feel like lugging this stuff back outside. So y'all can have that. And um, do store credit for my six dollars, cause I I, I, go, I like to shop in there, but I don't like to shop for their clothes, cause they don't never have nothing for me to wear now. I like to go in there and look at the uh, jewelry. I'm a look, I'm a bracelet girl. I love bracelets and charms and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to get into the necklaces, well maybe one day. But one charm I do want to buy, and I want to go to get the um. I got some of my dress already, but they were made by my friend Sherry. Sherry. But I like the one from, uh, dang it, oh my God. It's really pretty. It's a pretty bracelet. They got the charms on it, the different shapes and everything. And it's silver. It costs a little bit of money. It's a little, it costs a little, a little penny, but I want that. And I'm going to get it too. I'm gonna, that's on my wish list. I'm going to get that. I love bracelets. I love stuff girly. Now, you know, thinking, looking at me, you probably wouldn't think I, I like girly stuff. I do like girly stuff, but it's got to... Mm, I don't know how to say it. I like girl stuff, but it has to appeal to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like um, pink bows and all. You know, I like pink, but I want the next level pink. You know, I want the next level pink. Pink that only look like it's pink, but it's pink. You know, I like feminine stuff. I don't. I, I really would like to wear some heels, some um, stilettos to be exact. But I got to lose some weight before I can do that. And when I lose this weight, I'm going to have me a bad collection of stiletto heels. You watch me. You watch me now. And I'm going to speak that into existence. I want me some stilettos. And I want to walk in these stores with my head up high. Look, now you got now I got the, you got the clothes I want to wear. I can wear now. Nah, nah. How you like that? I can wear your clothes now. You got to be following me around, following me around the store. I can get in the clothes. Now nah, I ain't got to be complaining about it. y'all ain't got the right size. But you know what? I was speaking of the right size. I was talking to my friend Miss B, and I was telling her about this girl. It's another girl on YouTube, and she's big. She big like me, but she tall. See, I'm a short, fat girl. But this girl here, a white girl, she tall with her fatness. But she over here wearing stuff from Shein and Tory. And I've looked on tour. I ain't seen the stuff on tour that I seen that for my size. When they have my size, it's not appealing. It looks like you just throw something together. I don't like that. But the stuff she be wearing, that stuff is nice. It looks really, really good. And I'm like, well, hell. But my friend told me I have to go inside the mall to go to tour. I need to go to the store, actual store, to get the nice stuff. But I just can't make it to the mall right now. I can't do it because my anxiety won't let me go. So that that right there was a um failed trip right there already by itself. So I really want me some um nice stuff, and I want to look more um casual wear. I want some more casual wear. But see these things I be wearing now, this just for around the house, you know. And then when I do have to go somewhere, I got nice clothes to put them on. But I want more clothes. I want a closet full of clothes. I do. I want to wear a, a damn different outfit every day. I do. But, um, maybe this weekend I may take down my hair, wash it, and, um, get ready to get it done again. Because I don't like to leave it down too long. Because then it'll start breaking off. And it's, it's getting to the point where it's growing now. Really good. 
It really is. I miss my other African lady. I miss her so bad. I miss her so bad. So now I have to deal with somebody at the shop. Go to the African shop and get it done. But um, I think I'm going to give me some um, some knotless braids this time. Instead of this crochet. Cause this crochet right here is for the birds right now. I'm over crochet. I'm over it and I'm over this hair. <laughs> Look at all this new growth I got. I got a whole bunch of shit load of new growth. I got a lot of new growth. And I stopped sleeping with my scat, my um uh, scarf. Cause hell, it, it, the scarf be off the, off my head anyway when I wake up. And you know I'm sitting here, I'm just rambling. But um, I just want to say again, thank y'all for watching me. Thank you for supporting me. You know tonight wasn't much conversation, but I did say what well, a lot of things was on my mind. <clears throat> was on my mind today, and probably didn't make a lot of sense to y'all, but it makes sense to me. Cause I'm living it. Me and my cousin we had a big laugh today. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, wouldn't believe the talk, the topic we were talking about today, but I'm gonna say that for another time. Cause we already discussed um uh what we just we just talked about something I can't remember what we talked about. I'm so dang tired. So with that being said, y'all, y'all gonna let y'all go, and I'm gonna get off this thing, and I'm gonna get ready and um. Hit the bed. I'm tired. This girl is tired. She's tired. Because I think I got up around time. I got up around about um, 2 o'clock to go to the restroom. And then I played around a little bit on the phone and fell back asleep. And then it was like right 6.45 when I got actually got up this morning. So, yeah, I was I was um, playing it close because baby boy got to be at school by 7.30. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching me. And... I will see y'all in the next video.